right, no, I'm, I'm a little passionate about this topic. So of recently the are. news has been filled with incidents about cultural appropriation. It's so saturated that I'm now constantly measuring my actions and what I say, worried that I could be interpreted as offensive or it's oh, cultural man. appropriation. No, seriously. The definition of cultural appropriation is the adoption or use of the elements of one culture by members of another culture, which to me means cultural exchange. Mm -hmm. Right. That's yes. it. Right. So, what would the difference be between cultural exchange and cultural appropriation? Ooh. Taking the piss. <laughs> what? what is that? Taking the piss. I think whenever you have bad intention, whenever you're mm -hmm. trying to make fun of someone, whenever you're trying to hurt somebody, whenever you're not um, appreciating mm -hmm. right, that culture as opposed, um, then maybe that's the line. But I think, you know, we're all at globalizing right now. We're right, all trying yeah. to take pieces from everybody and play right. and... See, at least for me, uh, so, you know, I have, I grew up in the inner city, so I have a lot of black influence, a lot of African-American hip-hop culture, Latino yeah. culture mixed into one. And I think, I love that, and I love showcasing that because it just shows the diversity of where I come from, but I know there's a line I can't cross. There's like certain what? things I can't say, like the N-word, mm -hmm. I would never say that because it's not from my people, you know mm -hmm, what I mean? Mm -hmm. But I think, like you said, it's all about intention. I love black culture, I, I'm, I'm, like, forehead deep into it, you know what I mean? It's uh -huh. who I am. So yeah. I don't think there's a problem with appreciating someone else's no. culture. Yeah. No, I don't either. But what I read was that the difference mm -hmm. is power. So particularly a huh. culture, or it comes from a privileged, privileged people right. adopting something from a culture mm -hmm. that is not privileged. Got it. And using what's theirs uh -huh. as something that is now cool, but when it's just theirs, it's it not cool. cool. Yeah. Well, I can, I can, Interesting. I can give you an example of that. Remember when Kylie Jenner started wearing cornrows mm -hmm. and Vogue and mm -hmm. Teen yeah. and all these magazines mm -hmm. were like, oh my God, this is the latest fashion trend. This is so cool. I have no issues with that whatsoever. My problem was with them claiming that she started the trend. Okay. When we have been wearing cornrows for but I mean, I, how late are they in the game? Because I, if I yeah. didn't have this, this forehead this big, close up right here. <laughs> <Yeah>. No, for <laughs> real. If I didn't have this forehead, I would have cornrows. Because I right. think they're yeah. cool. But I, I think they're cool cornrows. since Omarion and like mm -hmm. Lil Bow Wow. Right. Like, that's I should when, be wearing them right now. You know? <laughs> Realistic. Yeah. Now, with, now when Kylie Jenner started, like, mm -hmm. that's been cool for a long time. Right. So to say that Kylie Jenner did it and like now it's cool, I think it's a little exaggerated. Yeah, that, that's yeah, well, the it's, problem. There's that's loads the of things, though. Part. There's loads of things. I mean, especially celebrities. Beyonce mm -hmm. wore the Indian the habib, garment, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, what, right? And it, mm -hmm. it was a, a beautiful dress. It was something yeah. that was signifying something that she adored yeah. from the other culture. Mm -hmm. So that's not the same thing, even though it's cool. Yeah, but she got a lot of backslash for wearing the the Indian Bollywood attire during her video, and people were saying, "Well, why is she trying to be Bollywood? She's just showing it's, that she likes it." It's so What's interesting. The big deal? You know, when I went to Thailand, the amount of women who worked on making, um, you know, their traditional Thai garb, mm -hmm. and then had us kind of put it on it, for them, it was exciting. It was mm -hmm. like, "Oh, they're wearing our stuff. They mm -hmm. like our stuff." Mm -hmm. um, so I found myself when I was traveling wearing all sorts of things that weren't from my my Asian culture from other mm -hmm. Asian cultures. Right. Um, but I, there was no time that, you know, I was ever making fun or... Right. Yeah, like if I want to get cornrows... Get cornrows! Get cornrows! Yes, and if I can't, should. then maybe Beyonce shouldn't be blonde and have straight hair. Yep. Yeah. Wouldn't that be the same thing? Yeah, yeah. Thing? it can't you know be hypocritical. I mean? yeah. You can't be yeah. hypocritical. Uh, I read <laughs> the other day that recently in this like prestigious university, there was a group of girls, all Latinas, saying that they were oppressed, feeling oppressed mm -hmm. because white girls were wearing hoop earrings. Oh, give me a break. And that's cultural appropriation. See, look, white oh. girl, take off your hoops. That's kind oh, of funny. That is the but, craziest thing I've ever heard. But you know what I mean? Like, come on. Are come you saying that the hoop earring belongs to just yeah. Latina no. and it's, it's the part of the Chola can, culture? To, to and nobody be can... fair, the hoop earrings actually are very, very popular in England with, mm -hmm. um, with people that they call chavs yeah. and it's kind of like you know like the street gangs yeah and but even if you go back to like the 60s and 70s the people in disco they were wearing big hoop yeah. earrings so it's been part of the culture for a very long time like stuff like that that's just annoying mm -hmm. no offense i'm all about like you know being empowered and being vocal about your opinions but that dude I, I, it's too much. The that's minute that much. you say that some, you do whatever you want, ladies. Yeah. You do exactly what you want. You put whatever you want on your body. But the minute that you start telling someone else that What's they can't, cut? then I think that that's where we find that line. So you I know agree. what? Like, okay, I'm Brazilian. <laughs> so this is mine, okay? This is my flag. My mom is white. My dad is brown. I like to play castañuelas, which I'm not Spanish, but I like to play. This is my Panama hat, which is made in Ecuador because I love Ecuador as well. So, you know, and I can do this. So, like, <laughs> just be happy and exactly. express 